Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, all of my beautiful friends from the internet. I hope each and every single one of you is doing just uh, spectacular on this fine Tuesday morning or whenever you happen to be listening to this podcast episode, whether that be morning, evening, or the night. Welcome to the Reddit Asks Us podcast, the podcast uh, where we read and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. I am your host, Luke Dick. If you're uh, listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you get your podcasts, Please leave us a rating and also leave us a review. You have no idea how much that helps the show out. And I also just want to say, too, that uh, we are climbing up in episode listens and downloads, and I'm super stoked about that. So uh, I just want to thank everyone who's tuning into the show, whether you're a new listener, old listener. Um, it's just great to have have everyone here and everyone taking part in this, uh, this really fun experience uh, for all of us. So... Yeah, we, we, we did a really great job on this last week's episode um, with the download numbers, and it was like really, really cool to see that. So um, yeah, just want to give everyone a shout out and say thank you all so much for, uh, for doing that. Remember, you can answer this week's Reddit question by clicking the description of the episode in Spotify, and uh, in that description, you should see this week's cre- question, and uh, you will be notified when your response is published. Uh, so thank you everyone who's been participating uh, in the show and doing all that um, because that is awesome. And you remember, you don't always have to answer the questions. Like even if you uh, just wanted to just like the episode or have something to say about the show, um, then yeah, you can go right ahead and and do that and uh, you will be notified when that response is published. I also just wanted to mention this too. Um, you know, if there's ever any like uh, segment that you want me to continue doing or if there's a, if there's a, you know, something that you would like to see, feel free to, you know, also comment that too. I see the comments all the time. So um, if, if there's anything you would like to see or like to see more of, then uh, also comment that too. And I will be taking in suggestions. I can't guarantee I'll incorporate anything into the show, but you know, I also do appreciate feedback from, uh, from y'all, my, my beautiful friends from the internet. So, uh, with that said, why don't we uh, read off some responses from last week's episode? So, last week's episode was, what was something you did that you found out was illegal? Um, so, for the first <laughs> first one comes from Goblin Rider. Long story short, tax fraud. <laughs> okay. Um, to be honest, I think we would have all really liked the long story on that one. Um, long story short, um, I didn't know you could, uh, murder, you couldn't murder people. Long story short though. So, you know, doing time, doing time behind the bars. It's like, wait a second, tax fraud. Are you not in jail right now? Are you okay? How are you? Are you watch? Are you listening to this in prison, in jail? But this one always reminds me of like anything, any, anything, anytime, anything has anything to do with taxes. It's so annoying. It's like, oh my God, like the those memes that are they're so funny it's like the the government's like oh you owe us money it's like okay well how much do i owe you um we we can't tell you you have to figure it out it's like okay this much sorry jail sorry about that one jail time for you it's like really that doesn't that doesn't seem super fair to me um if you know exactly how much money i owe why don't you just tell me and i'll and i'll pay it you know, it just this seems like the most logical thing to do, you know, not to send me to prison if I don't get guess the right number. All right, next one comes from Phil Savannah. Uh, watching adult videos before I was 18, sharing prescription medicine with family, downloading music. Not that it stopped me. Also, you can cross the street when the hand is flashing. Who knew? Uh, adult videos before you're 18. I mean... This should send you directly to prison. Like, you should be in jail for the rest of your life. This is just abhorrent behavior. I can't believe anyone would even would even think about doing such, a, such an awful, terrible thing. Horrible, disgustingly awful. Obviously not, folks. <laughs> I think that's like, that's probably like the number one most broken law. That has to be. <laughs> it has to be. Like, it's just, there's no, there's no way. There's no way. Um... Sharing prescription medicine with family, that's, that's, it's like, yeah, you know, like, here, here, you know, grandma, have, have some of my Xanax. 
You know, have 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 a couple bars. You know, lighten up, Grandma. Well, maybe Grandma's too light. Maybe she needs. Maybe she's a be brought down. Maybe Grandma's just she's a little too too uppity, a little too happy. It's like here you go, Grandma. How about you take this little bar of Xanax and you know chill out. Have a have a have a chill time. You know why don't you just like zombie out? You know you've been at work for your entire life, Grandma. You know why don't you just we just have this. It's a little my gift to you. My gift to you. Um, downloading music, yeah, that's a that's a classic one. I mean, if you if you were alive, you know, and and fairly young during any any time, you know, in the early to mid two thousands and the late nineties and stuff, like you 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 definitely download illegal music or music illegally, not illegal music. I don't even know what illegal music would be. Um, but downloaded music illegally, like there's just there's just it just happened. I know I knew a lot of friends when I grew up. Oh, uh, excuse me. Um, get viruses on their like parents' computer because they would download music through LimeWire, not knowing that like because I think a lot of people thought that the music just like it was there and it wasn't like put on there by other users. And a lot of that time that it had viruses and malware on it, and it's like oh god, now um everything that was contained on this computer is compromised so tough one tough one for that um you can also cross the street when the hand is flashing yeah see they need to make that more obvious because the the little walking person on the on the on the uh what is it called what did you call this thing the the the, whatever the walking symbol or whatever um lasts for like two seconds it's like i'm supposed to run across the street and it's like no stop Stop! You're not allowed! It's like, you're counting down from 30. You know? And I think it just gives drivers the wrong impression that it's like, they ha- they have, you know, the right to hit us. But legally, legally they're not allowed to hit you with your with their car. So, that's where, that's where we start to get into some murky waters there. Because legally speaking, they are not allowed to hit you with a car. That's just, that's, that's the defense right there. Um, next one comes from stressed human. What's going on, stressed human? Um, I used to go early morning running before sunrise, then get home at, at sunrise. I didn't know this was illegal to be in parks before sunrise. Never got caught. Was just reading up on laws out of boredom. That's a what? That is the stupidest law. Lo- what? Why? Why can't you be in a park before sunrise? Like, is this like a? Like they they are they doing like seances or something in the park? No one must enter the park before sunrise unless they want to be privy to our demonic, uh, satanic rituals. It's like what? Like our conjuring? They may bear witness to our conjuring in the forests of the dark park. It's like, really? That's why? Like that. What's what's going on in the park? What's going on in the park before sunrise? Is this just like that? That's where the that's where the coders are to, you know, input the new code for the next day into the simulation. They're just doing it in in the park. No, no one in the park. Not allowed. Seems that seems like a stupid rule, especially if the park's open. It's like, you know, here's this wide open park, you know, full of full of all this open space. Um. But it actually, you were going to get arrested if you go in it. It's like, what? Like, you're not going to, you know, chain it up or something, put a big sign somewhere? I think you would have had a pretty good defense there, stressed human. Um, <laughs> Vortex, I have no idea what you what you said here, Vortex. I published it, but I have no idea what this means. Pickle, burger, moon, fart, waffle, crumpets, and liquid toast, and also rip... Bing bong. So, I don't know what that means, Vortex. I hope you're still enjoying the show, and I hope that uh, everything is going well with you. Um, and uh, and your and I wish we all uh, still wish you the best of health, health there, Vortex. Um, and yeah, we still hope that you're you're enjoying and enjoying the show and having a having a good time listening. Uh, we all thinking about you. Uh, next one comes from Caleb. So far, only smoking in school. Not really illegal, but womp womp. What? Smoking in school is definitely illegal. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I like smoked in a school. Like, 
it's not even illegal though, so it's not. That's not like I've actually never done anything illegal. No, that that's definitely illegal. You 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 definitely are not allowed to smoke inside a school. Like I don't think that you would. I don't know if they would arrest you for it, but you could get a fine. You could definitely get a fine, a citation for sure. Um, so yeah, that I think Caleb that 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 one's de- is definitely definitely illegal. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to even like vape in schools now too, but. How you police that, I don't know, because a cigarette is definitely more uh, more obvious than a than a vape. No one, no one like if you walked through a school and you smelled cigarettes burning, I really don't think you'd find a teacher that would be like, "Hmm, what is that smell? What 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 is that? I I, I can't tell." I, it's not like a teacher is gonna gonna just pass by that and just like not think anything of it, like because vaping is gone, disappeared, but. The, the smoking, that's hard to hide. Teachers can be like, oh, it's probably nothing, even though it smells like tobacco. Um, last one comes from The Dopic. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but great episode. Also, get well soon, Vortex. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you all. Thank you so much uh, for, the, for that comment. And yes, get well soon, Vortex. We're all still thinking about you and p- hoping for you. Um, but, uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for, for uh, replying to that episode. And uh, remember, you can always comment, and your uh, responses will be published, too. Um, all right, why don't we hop into today's episode? So today's episode is, again, comes from just the best page on the internet, really. Uh, ask Reddit. What? The, see, this, is, this was going to be a fun one. This is going to be a fun one, because... I, if you've ever listened to YMH or Your Mom's House podcast with uh, Tom Segura and Christina Pajitsky, this is basically what Christina calls the Pajitsky effect, which is just like very obvious things that you've only realized just now. So that's what this episode is. What really obvious thing have you only just realized? All right. So first one comes from Bruce Wang 19. When I was like 25, I found out the jugs of washer fluid outside the gas station aren't free. I was just walking out of the gas station with a buddy one day, grabbed a jug of washer fluid, and he asked me, did you just steal that? I was like, no, dude, it's free. It's not. I stole the washer fluid for nearly 10 years of driving, and no one ever said anything about it to me. That is (laughs) just performing casual theft. But you know what I will say, though? They make that stuff way too easy to steal. Why would you have washer fluid like that just, like, outside? just non-guarded, nothing, there's no, there's no, it's not in a cage or something. Like, I don't understand why can't they just sell that inside? What's stopping them from selling it inside? Why, if you want to make a product that's going to be uh, mistakenly stole, stolen, it's the washer fluid. And they make it look so delicious. It's that blue color. You just want to go and just chug it all. You just want to be like, look, 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 look. Gas stations are... Ooh, they're dangerous, man. You wanna you wanna chug the washer fluid. You wanna smell the gas. It's it's a it's a dangerous place, folks. It's um it's a good good hang spot though. So nice to, that's why I like to that's why I like to spend time with my my friends. You know, just <sighs> sniffing the gasoline. Gotta love it, love it so much. But that's honestly, I don't even I don't even blame you for it. And they also have like wood out there too. It's like, what do you expect me to like bring this this pile of wood in and just like plop it right down on your on your cashier's desk get it all full of splinters and stuff no come on just give it to us for free do you even really need it it's like it's like a complimentary thing that's what it should be i should get a jug of washer fluid as a compliment for for buying from gas from your gas station so there you go reply from organite uh oh god that reminds me of something similar for me for several years, anytime I was at my local mall, I would just pop into the Godiva shop for free. Is Godiva? Godiva? I don't know what that is. A uh, shop for the free samples of chocolate-covered strawberries and go about my merry way. Eventually, one day, I walked in, and they were under lock and key with a price tag next to them. I asked the shopkeep when they started charging for them, and she told me uh, they never didn't. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume, though, that like if it's just out there like that, unless there's a person behind it like offering it to you it's probably not free you know it's it's they're probably not free samples but that's so funny they just watched you come in they didn't say anything they'd rather just like lock them up <laughs> rather than just say that's such an uncomfortable thing to say though like 
hey, those are actually not free. So if you could just spit that back out. Yep, just right in my hand. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, all of it. Yep, all of it. You know what, honestly? I saw you eat a couple. You're going to have to puke those other ones up. Yeah, you're just going to... Okay, yeah, uh, I can I can help you puke them up and just sticks her fingers in your mouth. Ugh. Yeah, um... Yeah, that's, uh... The the amount of things that we've inadvertently stolen. Next one comes from Electronic Pool 7, 7458. How the American bail system works. I thought it was a sum of money you paid to avoid jail. I was surprised when I realized you get the money back if you show up for your trial. Yeah, it's like, a, I just learned about this in my in my law class. But um, yeah, it's like, uh, it's, an, it's like an assurance. It's, it's like, it's basically just saying that you're going to have, uh, like you're just going to show up for court. But again, it is, it does, <laughs> bail doesn't favor the people who get affected by bail because often the people who go to jail and are affected by bail are like, don't have money. So it's kind of like, okay, if you pay your $2,000 bail, you don't have to spend this like week in jail before your trial. It's like, well, I don't have $2,000, you know, a lot of time the people who are affected the most by crime are people who are also in poverty so it's like it's kind of a like really that's like <laughs> yes yeah, so why don't we make uh, the way to avoid jail uh completely inaccessible yeah yeah you don't want to go to jail well do you have something that uh you you probably wouldn't be here if you had yeah well there you go so too bad and the door the metal doors clang and lock on you well Oh, that's so sad. You don't have two thousand dollars. Aw, it's like, well, you know, it's that's. Yeah. I mean, most most uh, a lot of people who are affected by jail and bail don't have two thousand dollars. So that's it's kind of a. I don't know. Is this is this uh, uh, an inherent, um, you know, discriminatory system? Makes me think. I don't know, folks. Um. Next one comes from, it's Ivor Boten. Not me, but my 21-year-old cousin just realized he is mildly allergic to peanut butter. He's been his whole life. Up until now, he assumed everyone's throat closes up a little bit while eating a PB&J sandwich, but they just fought through it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is so funny because I actually have a nut allergy. I could not imagine. It's like, you know what? Nuts, I love them, like, just great protein, you know, like, they taste awesome with, you know, salted ones that you get from the store, but, damn, doesn't it just, I'm, I'm just gonna go out and say it, like, it doesn't feel great when you're, like, you know, when you, when your skin gets all puffy because of it, and your hands get all puffed up, and your ears get all hot and red, and your face gets red, and, and then you, your throat closes up on you, it's like, and then you start just, like, kind of choking a little bit, and then you have to, like, stop eating them, because, you know, you're, it's 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 getting to that that critical point, right? It's reaching critical mass. You know, it's it's just uh, I just don't know how people do it. Um, you almost killed yourself. Yeah, you almost died. Uh, you, you, yeah, that's I think you, you never thought that that was maybe you should have brought that up earlier. It's like God damn, this peanut butter sandwich is so delicious. <coughs> how do you guys do it? <coughs> I can't even breathe. It's so good. <coughs> That's how you know it's good is when it <coughs> chokes you out. Oh, I'm going to pass the fuck out. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Come on, dude. That That's an immediate red flag. I, I, I don't like, I just don't think, I don't think there's something that I could eat and it would have an effect on my body like that. And I could be like, Meh. just got to shrug it off. You know, people these days are not resilient enough, right? They're not willing to. You know, bear the cold and go out in the cold weather to shovel the, to shovel the snow. They're not willing to, you know, bear the pain of eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and having your throat close up on you and almost passing out and dying. You know, this is just, these are the built-ins of life, okay? When it snows, you got to clean it up. You know, you just got to do it, even if it's going to melt, all right? When you are hungry, you got to eat that peanut butter sandwich. And you know what? Are you going to be, are you going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, a wuss and just and weasel your way out of it just because you just because oh my, my throat closes up just a little bit oh I, I pass out I have to go to the hospital really that's seems like you're just not willing to bear the, the pain of life okay 
Oof. That, <laughs> no, it seems just more like, uh, uh, you don't know that what being allergic to anything is. Like, have you not? Oh my god. Anyways, next one comes from Agrees with Fish Pal. Water towers are for water pressure. Not just a town putting its name on a tank and saying, hey, look, look how much dang water we have. To be honest, I don't even know what those towers were for either. The t- water towers are for water pressure? And, they, like, and they're not really to store water as they are to add pressure via gravity. They, they also store water to compensate for peak demand hours. This prevents the pumps from... But I don't even like, like water pressure, like just because it's you know, like the gravity just pushes down on it i don't know i don't i've never i've never known what those things were honestly either i would just i would just be like you know that's how they display the name of their town i feel like i feel like i'm low-key learning so i knew i knew they had water in them for some reason but i don't think i was actually too inquisitive about why they had water in it i feel like i never really thought much about it i was just like "Eh, now i know the name of the town because it's in those really big letters and this like very large structure full of water at the top but the thing is is i don't see i don't see it like a tank or a tube or like a like a a pipeline or a line going from that maybe i just haven't looked at it close enough but i know though that in movies whenever those things get tipped over water always comes out of it so it must obviously exist for i don't know when they transformers come or something like that's why they have those is they're just preparing for like really cool water battles when transformers end up you know when the decepticons end up intercepting our planet and trying to destroy us and kill us all maybe it's just it's just like for aesthetic effect they're just like waiting for it so maybe back in the 1950s they started installing these things everywhere you know because it's always the 1950s right um or the late 40s they did they started putting these things up because they just knew the Decepticons were on the way, all right? Now, this has to do with the Deep State and their covering up of aliens. I'm going on my... I'm going I'm going full Alex Jones mode now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that to, either, to be honest. I'm, I feel dumb. I feel dumb for that. Um, let's see. Let's, next one comes from What You Call Me Today. There's a local plumbing company called Abacus with a tagline, You Can Count On Us. After 20 years, I realized their logo was an abacus. Wait, what is that? I don't know what that is, folks. Do I am I am I dumb? What is an abacus? An abacus is oh, it's like one of those like calculator things. You can ca- oh, you can count on us. <laughs> okay, all right, but that's like that's kind of a weird name for a plumbing company. What does an abacus have to do with? with plumbing well you see there's the there's the little you know beads and you move them from like one side there to the other and (laughs) you're not seeing the connection here you know and then just like plumbing you you know put the snake in the drain and you plumb it out and you get rid of all the stuff that needs to be cleared out of the drain and you're not you're not getting this you're not you're not seeing this you're not making (laughs) i feel like i feel like you're just not you're not it's pretty obvious it's a pretty obvious connection it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm, I'm, I don't really think I'm fully getting this right now. Don't, I, I, I think I need, need a little bit deeper dive of explanation. This is not making sense. Um, that's, yeah, what is, Abacus doesn't feel like that doesn't really have anything to do with plumbing. So I'm going to say you're right. You're fine for, 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 uh, for being confused. Next one comes from Ogwu, uh, or Ogu. When I was 15, I realized rice isn't pasta chopped into small pieces. Unfortunately not. Rice is delicious, but uh, it basically has like zero nutrients, whereas at least at least pasta has like grains and stuff. You know, there's nutrients in grains, but unfortunately the only way to get real nutrients out of rice is to eat the brown rice, which is, like, really disgusting, and it's because it's got a shell on it, and it's really gross, so, unfortunately, not, but, I can't believe you just, wait, when did you figure this out? When you were 15, you realized rice doesn't, rice is colored white? That didn't, what pasta is white? (laughs) What pasta, like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand where you, how you got, like, rice is, like, beads and pellets, like, it's not, Pasta is like spaghetti. Like, <laughs> how did that? I I'm I am utterly confused how you got to that conclusion. 
But I'm glad you figured it out sooner than later. Uh, otherwise, that could have been. I could have been. You could have created a dangerous situation for yourself eating all that, eating all that rice, believing it's pasta. Uh, next one comes from O I G Garbanz. O I G O I Garbanzo. When I was twenty something, a regular cannabis user struggling to clean my pipe. I only realized that's what the pipe cleaners were for. Those fuzzy bendable tubes weren't just for childhood crafts. What? Oh, yeah, they're actual pipe cleaners. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they're called. They're called pipe cleaners. They're literally called pipe cleaners. GSFGF says, um, yeah, I used to think they were for like water pipes and never understood it. I guess elementary school teachers got really good at deflecting from that question. And for regular pot smokers, get pipe cleaners. They're fantastic, especially when you when you use a water pipe, or okay. So this is they're just giving advice to people who smoke weed. But anyways, I didn't know this. Are this are they, is it actually tailored towards towards weed? Like, are they actually? Is that what they're for? I use pipe cleaners. I feel like this is gonna break my childhood now. This is like our our pipe cleaners for weed. Let's see. Pipe cleaner hard bristles. While the term marijuana pipe cleaners is often used to refer to cleaning solutions, you should regular you should also be using regular old pipe cleaners to scrub away. What is this? Is this is this serious? Oh my god! Yes, a pipe cleaner or chenille stem is a type of brush originally intended for removing moisture and residue from smoking pipes. Well, maybe more like um, maybe more like tobacco pipes. This is kind of awful. My childhood is ruined now. They used to be in such fun colors. I feel like we used to make little shapes out of them and stuff. Now I feel like my innocence is ruined. I don't know that that's what they were for. I wish they were for something more wholesome, like, I don't know, cleaning the pipes of a of a sink or, I don't know, something. Something. Not 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 pipes. Not not smoking pipes. Oh, God. That's what, that's what you know what, though? They they were a crossover uh, uh, item for kids back in basically any time before, you know, 1980, because that's when uh, kids were smoking. So, you know, you you weren't you weren't even probably considered a kid, you know, back in like the 30s, unless you smoked. Like you were considered a baby until you started smoking. Now you're a kid. Now you've gained kid status. So you know what? I can see why they stuck on in kids. It's just like a, it's like a, it's like an artifact from time. Um, salty director in 5038 says, uh, this is a new one. It's called metal because it's harder than rock music, <laughs> but what metal is not it. Metal is not harder than rock though. Wait, is that no Metal, metal, metal is uh, maybe it depends on what metal you're. But diamond, di is diamond a rock? Yeah, diamond. Is diamond a rock? Um, no, it is cannot be considered as such because it is. Um, okay, wait. Are rocks, um, harder than metal? Rocks in general are going to be harder, and more brittle. That's that. This is no. That doesn't make any sense. It's called metal because it's harder than rock. No. M metal is not harder than rock. Metal is actually m much softer than rock is. So I, I don't I don't know I don't know about that one. Whoever came up with that thought they were doing something. They really thought they were doing something. They're like, you know what, man? We should call this metal because it's like harder than a rock. Holy shit, man. But man, I don't think I don't think metal's harder than rock, man. Like, think about it like aluminum is a metal. You can bend that pretty easily. I don't I can I don't know anyone who can bend a rock. Man, you don't even know what you're talking about, man. Metal is so freaking hard, bro. It's way harder than rock, man. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's that's the somebody really thought they were onto something. Hey, I hate to shatter that one for you. Next one comes from One Cool Story. I recently realized that howdy is short for how do you do. I actually just Googled it, and technically it's short for how do ye. My, however, my realization still makes sense. How do ye? Howdy. How do ye? 
I feel like those are so different. How do ye? Is like very like that sounds very Irish, very very Scottish. How do ye? How does ye do? Uh, and howdy is like very much south and southern USA. Howdy, howdy, partner. But it makes sense though. It makes sense because I guess a lot of those people would have came from from England. But yeah, I never realized that either. Howdy. I never even like there's so many things that we just take for granted and we don't even we don't even question at all. <laughs> and then it's like, "Oh yeah, wait, that doesn't make any sense." At, like like zero. Um n- next one comes from Steve Machinic. Um in the song I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, it's because the husband dressed up as Santa and kissing his wife. My mom is not having an affair with Santa. I totally thought the mom was having an affair with Santa. I was completely under the impression that what what does Santa have that dad doesn't have? I just don't get it. I I, I seriously am not. I I'm not. I don't understand. Why would you Why would you throw our lives away, mom? Why would you throw it all away just to be with Santa when he comes around once a year? You really think he's gonna be that great of a parent, mom? It's Santa. Do you know how many houses he visits? You are under the wrong impression if you think that Santa says you're the only one. He goes to every kid's house. What the heck, mom? You really threw it all away with dad just to just to just to fuck Santa Claus. God damn it, mom. Why would you do this to our family? No, I totally I totally thought it was like full on mom cheating on on husband with Santa. Um, next one, uh, comes from Mike Heck. Uh, my car key remote isn't broken. The battery died nearly 10 years, after nearly 10 years. Maybe I need to replace the battery. My car, my car key battery thing is, doesn't really work on my car. I feel like, but yeah, and also my car is like, like almost, my car is fifth, getting close to like 15 years old now like a 15 year old car technically it's considered a vintage car so yeah maybe i just need to maybe the battery in it is just really old i've never even thought about like taking the battery out of the out of the thing i'm like why isn't this working it's like well maybe it's because it's just really old and you need a new battery i don't really think it has anything to do with the car being broken (laughs) yeah it's like well that tends to happen when batteries are 15 years old and never been replaced you know that's like you know, you find your Xbox controller from 10 years ago and being like, oh, it's not working. The batteries aren't working. Next one comes from Extra Complaint 2208. I should take this to the grave, but somehow I thought Mickey Mouse was a dog until I was 17. I'm 24 now. One day I just saw Mickey Mouse somewhere and went, why does he have such a skinny little tail? It looks like a rat. Wait. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> You know Mickey Mouse, the dog, the really strangely shaped looking dog with the, you know, the the little nose and the tiny little tail and, you know, Mickey Mouse. Mouse is the name of the dog. Oh, so it's a dog, but its name is Mouse. That's why it's called Mickey Mouse. But you don't really see Mickey behaving like a dog because goofy's a dog and i feel like you see goofy behave like a dog he just mickey's just really low-key about his dog behavior you know this is mickey just likes to keep the fact that he's a dog on the on the low you know i can't believe that <laughs> mickey mouse it's literally right in the name i don't think i ever questioned that mickey was nothing was anything but a mouse he literally has mouse ears Like, Goofy has, like, floppy ears. This is, that's, you know what, though? This is why you have Reddit to, to, to vent these, these types of things to. Because, uh, you you shouldn't tell your friends that. Because if you were my friend, I would roast the shit out of you. Because I'm roasting you right now on this podcast. (laughs) And I don't even know you. Um, but damn, that one's tough. That's a, that's a tough look. That's a really tough look. Um... Like if I found that out and I also found out you were like my, you know, trying to fix my computer or something, I'd be like, well, I mean, he's a great guy, but 
He thought Mickey Mouse was a dog. I, I, I don't know if I can trust him with my computer. You might, you might break, you might fuck it up. That's just, that's a, that's too rookie of a mistake. Next one comes from Tin Man Proudfoot. That an amber alert was named after a child and not the color amber. I thought it was like code red or type of blue. Yeah, I'm just finding this out right now. Yep, I, I, this, see, and this is why we need to humble ourselves, right? Because, you know, one man's mistaking Mickey Mouse for a dog is another man's. I have no, I had no idea that it was like, I thought it was like, like there's, you know, code red, but this is code amber. So it's like, you know, it's not, it's not a full code red. I heard, I think code black is like the, the most, the most intense one. A code black is like, shit has hit the fucking fan. Code black is, you better get all the food that you have and go somewhere where you can join a group of people and survive the apocalypse together. That's what a code black is. But a code red is like a, this is dangerous situation. You know, we'll figure it out. It's going to pass, but it's dangerous. Amber alert is like, be aware. Amber alert, okay? It's not a red alert, okay? It's not a red alert. It's just an amber alert. It's like, okay, just be on, be on your game. Be aware. Be aware like amber, amber, aware. Those words both start with A. There we go. Now we're making connections. Amber, aware, amber, alert. There you go. All starts with A's. You know, it's a, it's it just flows right off the tongue. Makes the most sense to me. Um, but yeah, I had no idea that that was named after a child. Um, reply from Champagne for my re- for real for real. Oh, oh man, I remember when she was kidnapped in front of her family and found in the woods behind where one of my friends lived. That was basically the end of being able to ride your bike around freely. I mean, and so then there's another reply from Grave Girl. That's a fairly reasonable assumption given that other sm- similar public alerts that have come along afterwards mainly use colors. Silver alerts are for, are for little gray-haired elders. Annoys me that they all say missing elderly instead of using the actual noun. Blue alerts for fugitives of LEO-involved shootings. And <clears throat> a bunch more that are more state-specific. I'd encourage everyone to Google statewide alert systems and their state to see what is used in their area. We get like government ones. Like we get those ones that pull up on your phone. I'm pretty sure they're called Amber Alerts or Emergency Alert or, alert or something like that. They they happen, you know, periodically the government just like sends these alerts to your phone, you know, because they got to warn you. I remember when here there was a bunch of forest fires last summer and they sent out a bunch of amber alerts or emergency alerts and stuff and there was a bunch but that's the thing is they're really helpful right like they got to let you know that yeah maybe don't drive over here because uh, the whole road is covered in fire so uh you know unless you want to willfully die by driving into a fire you should probably listen to this emergency alert uh Cats Academy, next one comes, that lock, as in Loch Ness, is the Gaelic word for lake. Wow. Yep, I didn't know that either. And I literally just, no, oh, fuck. I literally would just, was just, because we, 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 we did a little, one of my uh, friends likes to celebrate Robert Burns Day, which is a thing in Scotland that um, Robert Burns was like a poet, and it's like a big deal in Scotland that on Robert Burns Day, it's like his birthday or something, uh, that everyone like reads poetry and sing songs and stuff. And I literally just sang a song for my friend's party um, for for uh, th- this, this, you know, Robert Burns Day. And it has the word, it's literally called Loch Lomond. And I didn't ever even, never even, never even cross my mind. But now that seems painfully obvious. Next one comes from Money Cost 7188. In high school science class, we were watching a video, and it was then that I realized that reindeer are in fact real creatures and not just mythical beings for the purpose of pulling Santa's sled. See, this is where I am privileged because reindeer are just like elk. Like, I'm pretty sure our reindeer, we're going to look this up, elk. Um, elk and reindeer are very similar animals belonging to the deer family, but there are many differences between the... Okay, so they're not 
they're not the same, but they're similar. Elk and elk, reindeer, reindeer and caribou. That's what it is. A reindeer and caribou are the same animal, not an elk. Sorry, my bad. Um, but we have we have reindeer in Canada, so we have caribou. Like caribou are are there's a lot of caribou up north, uh, northern Canada, and uh, I kind of like a little bit implicitly knew that reindeer were also caribou because they were kind of used interchangeably growing up. So I'm a little bit privileged in my knowledge that, uh, that reindeer are real, but however, unfortunately these reindeer, these caribou do not fly. So that was, that was really devastating when I was a child. I think above anything, I was really excited to know that reindeer were real, but Unfortunately, they had no superpowers, and there was none of them with a red nose. So, that was that was that was quite devastating. Uh, reply from significant otter. Mine is similar. It took me until 2020 to learn that narwhals are re- <laughs> narwhals are real. I thought they were the sea version of unicorns. What? What? Like okay, but unicorns have powers though. What is a what is a narwhal doesn't have any powers? <laughs> the sacred we're channeling the sacred power of the narwhal. It's like wait what? Like it's not like unicorns can fly and like like and I'm pretty sure in Harry Potter like their blood is like valuable or something. Like unicorns are like a like they actually have like like spe- special powers and stuff. But like the <laughs> I've I've never heard of of a narwhal having like a, a special ability. We can swim faster than the narwhal, than the great mighty narwhal. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that can swim faster than a narwhal. So, I don't know if, that's, that's, that's I'm really sorry that, that you just found out that narwhals are real. But it's actually cool though, because now, now you can go see a narwhal. And you'd be like, wow, a narwhal. They are pretty weird, strange-looking creatures. They do have the actual unicorn horn on them. So that that is that you do have that going for you. Uh, next one comes from Everett640. My sister learned recently that when you're at the grocery store and opening the egg carton, that you're checking for cracked eggs and not just making sure that the eggs are, in fact, in the carton. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> Where did you learn that? Who told you that? Nope, just making sure they're all here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, they're all here. Looks like they're all in. in looks like they're not trying to rob us this time. <laughs> they tried to. They thought they were slick. It's like they're all cracked. It's like, yep, I will take these, please. Nice try. I checked them all to make sure they were all there. They were all there. So nice. Nice one. Way to go. But uh, you're not going to fool me this time. There's like seeping, like yolk is just all over the carton. <laughs> How did, what? <laughs> you just thought the grocery store was just purposefully deceiving you? That it's like that, that checking that carton of eggs is like what you have to do. It's like your due diligence when you're buying eggs. <laughs> oh God. Why don't we read off maybe a couple, couple uh, more here. Uh, Sydney... Sydney Yasmin says, learned I was allergic to latex from talking to my friend. She told me that <clears throat> since I'm allergic to some citrus, I may be allergic to latex and asked me if condoms bothered me. I responded that and said, yes, they, but they bother everyone who uses them. And that's how I learned that uh, burning and itching and a, <laughs> and a road rash are not normal after uh, coitus with a condom. I am 26. Oh, that sounds awful. That sounds horribly terrible uh the amount of pain you could have been saving yourself you you poor soul um jumbo dakota smoke you're just like yes i don't really <laughs> to be honest i'm not i don't really like having sex yeah it just it just it's so painful every single time you know it's just and you got to use a condom obviously because you want to stay safe and it's just maybe it's just maybe i'm not cut out for it maybe i'm just gonna wait it's like what what are you talking about that is not that is not what happens, supposed to happen during sex. I think you might just be allergic to latex. <laughs> um, last one here. Uh, J- Jumbo Dakota Smoke. That sign you see near schools with the two people crossing holding books. I was stuck in traffic and a few weeks ago I suddenly realized it wasn't two women with purses. 
No, it isn't. It is definitely not. Um, hold on around this school zone. We have many women in purses. So you know what? The kids are smart. Okay. And if they're not smart, then they obviously don't deserve to be alive. So you can just, you know, if you hit a kid, you hit a kid. All right. If you hit a kid, it's like, okay, you know, it's, we, it's, that's Darwinian natural selection at work right there. But I swear to God, if you even come close to touching a woman with a purse, you will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Okay? This is, these aren't just some kids we're talking about. These are women. Not only are they women, they're women with purses. Okay? You need to understand this. This is just, this is a fundamental societal value. You got to watch out for the women with purses. God damn it. So you got to just explain this to everyone. And they just, for some reason, are always around school zones. Just where they like to hang out, I guess. All right, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning into this episode of the Reddit Asks Us podcast. Um, remember, uh, this is the podcast where we read and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you get your podcast, please, please, please leave us a rating and also leave us a review. You can answer this week's Reddit question by going to the description of the episode in Spotify and submitting your response, and you will be notified when your response is published. And I will read aloud those responses on the next week's following episode. Thank you all so much uh, for tuning in, and I uh, can't wait to be with you all again next week. So uh, peace out. Love you. Goodbye.